Hello everyone and welcome to the fascinating world of computers. In this video we will be taking a deep dive through the history of computers. So are you ready? Let's get started. So to make it easy to understand, I divided this history into four parts. So let's start with part one, origins of computing. Computing has its roots in ancient times when people used sticks, stones, and other tools to calculate and keep records. The ancient counting tool device was the abacus, used by the ancient civilization in Asia and Africa. It consisted of beads or stones arranged on rods and allowed users to perform basic arithmetic calculations with ease. Over the centuries, the abacus evolved into more complex devices like the slide rule, which could perform more advanced calculations. In the 17th century, French mathematician called Blaise de Pascal developed the first mechanical calculator called the Pascal. This device used a series of gears and wheels to perform calculations paving the way for more sophisticated mechanical calculators to come. The first major breakthrough in computing came in the 19th century with the invention of the first mechanical calculators such as the Difference Engine by Charles Babbage. They were designed to perform basic mathematical operations. One of the most notable of these machines was the Difference Engine, which was invented by Charles Babbage in the 1820s. This machine was a mechanical device that could perform complex calculations with incredible accuracy. Although the work of the difference engine was never completed in his lifetime, Charles Babbage's work led to the foundation of modern computing and the development of computer. Part 2. Electronic Computing In the 1930s and 40s, the first electronic computers were developed, beginning with the Atanas of Berry, which was designed to solve a system of linear equations. Although it was not a true general purpose computer, but the work of this incredible technology paved the way for modern computers to come. Another electronic computer developed was called the Colossus, and it was created in the 1940s. The Colossus was used to crack codes during World War II and was considered to be one of the most important technological breakthroughs of the time. The development of electronic computing was enlarged in the early 20th century with the invention of vacuum tubes, which were used to create the first electronic computers. The first of these computers was ENIAC, which was built during World War II and used to calculate artillery firing tables. It was massive in size, weighing at over 30 tons, and used 17,000 vacuum tubes to perform its calculation. Part 3. The Race of Personal Computers The 1970s saw the advent of the personal computer, with companies such as Apple and Microsoft leading the way. The first personal computer was Altair 800, which was released in 1975. It was invented by a company called Altair. This machine was marketed as a kit that users could assemble themselves and allowed hobbyists and enthusiasts to experiment with programming and computing at home. This was followed by the Apple I in 1976 and the Apple II in 1977 which were the first personal computers to gain widespread popularity. The first Macintosh computer were developed by the company called Apple. It was designed based on graphical user interfaces and it allowed mouse input to the world of computing. It was an instant hit, paving the way for the personal computer revolution and changing the way we interact with computers forever. However, it was not until the 1980s that personal computers became mainstream thanks in large part to the introduction of the IBM PC. Okay, here we are. Part 4. The Internet Age The development of the Internet in the 1990s revolutionized the way we use computers. 
it opened up a whole new world of communication and information sharing, which has only continued to grow and evolve in the decades since. The internet has changed the world in countless ways and has allowed people to connect with each other from all corners of the globe. The internet has also led to the development of new technologies such as smartphones and tablets, which have revolutionized the way we live and work. Part 5. The Future of Computing As we look to the future, there is no doubt that computing will continue to play an increasingly role in our lives. From smartphones and tablets to laptops and desktops, we rely on computers for everything from work and communication to entertainment and education. From artificial intelligence to virtual reality and beyond, the possibilities are endless. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this video on the history of computers. If you enjoy it, then give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel below this video. You can also share it with friends and families so as to benefit. Which type of technology in today's video interested you the most? Is it the IBM PC, the Abacus, or personal computers? Let me know in the comment section by leaving your answers right now.